Hey y'all, we're back in the kitchen with ALR, and first up, we're making chili. Let's go. All right, chili time. First things first, the meat. It's a one pot stop here. Everything is just in one pot, which makes it really easy. All right, so as it's cooking, I add a good amount of minced garlic. I add pepper. I add garlic salt. And I add minced onion. I would eat, I would use like real onion, but <laughs> Becky don't like it. Yum. I've been begging you for this. <laughs> yeah, right. I have to add mushrooms. You guys can see that. Next. Oh, I rinse. Sorry. It's okay. I rinse the beans. I use um, dark kidney, black, and chickpeas. And then I add it. And then I like to add diced tomatoes. It's hard to stir with that. There we go. And then I add tomato juice. Okay, what is this? No, Mrs. Dash? We're using tomato juice instead of chicken broth? This is not her original chili recipe. Can they see everything? Mm hmm. And I add chicken broth. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Much better. Use the whole thing. Almost. <laughs> that is the reduced sodium cut too. I made sure to get that. And then I stir. And then I like to use a chili seasoning packet. See, as you can tell, it's like a soup consistency. And then I do end up adding a little bit more of my own cumin. What exactly does she mean by her own cumin? As opposed to what, Becky's cumin? And a little bit more of my own cayenne. We like flavor around here. Again with the my own. Why is she so territorial over her spices? What, babe? Why are you laughing? Babe, why are you laughing? We like a little bit of flavor around here. Dash is like two little sprinkles. <laughs> that was because I season it like while I'm cooking the meat and then I season it right. again with the packet. And I don't like too hot, you know. And then more of that. More of that. Can anyone tell me the purpose of using the low sodium chicken broth if you're just gonna pour in a bunch of garlic salt? And then I just let it cook for a hot minute. I was about to be like, uh, no. You put the mushrooms back in that soup. I don't cook, I don't clean. Oh girl, we know. <laughs> she don't even know the rest. <laughs> no, I don't, what is it? I don't know. <laughs> I like the song though. And Becky likes to eat hers with Ritz crackers. I like to eat mine with some Fritos right here. Right. Yeah, I mean, Fritos ain't bad, but crackers is, what's up? What's up? Ritz crackers. So now I'm going to let it simmer for like 40 minutes. Oh my God, <laughs> Becky. Babe! So here is the chili. You guys, it is so freaking amazing. It is a perfect freaking night for chili because it is raining out and Becky has a Christmas movie going. It's just the perfect time. So yum. I wish you guys were here to try this. You'd love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. So this isn't the healthiest salad in the world. Just brace yourselves. I just, I'm craving like that, like those stupid salads that you get from restaurants, like a typical side salad. So we're doing that. She'll be using a towel. I'll be using Ray. 
Gosh, shortening my words. First ingredient, spring mix. I'm Jesus Christ. Hungry. Okay, wait, that's too much. <laughs> this is kind of a lot. My hands are clean, don't worry, don't fret. Lettuce. Okay. I got some shredded carrots. I love a shredded carrot in a salad. Definitely doing that. Looks like a little cheese, but it's not. Then I have a cucumber. So I am going to, oh, we forgot the pepperoncinis. I'll get that. Okay, she's gonna cut the cucumber. We're also gonna cut up some pepperoncinis to go in there. Um, some red onion. And I'm also gonna do croutons. So a serving is only 35 calories, but a serving is seven grams, so that's like nothing. So I think based on calories, like the most calories is probably in the ranch. Um, I'm probably gonna have like four servings. <laughs> so seven times four is 28. So 28 grams is what I'm gonna have. So I'm gonna count how many croutons is 28 grams, okay? 15 croutons, that's not bad. So 35 times four, oh, math. Baby. So it turns out one of Wifey's duties as caretakers to help Amberlynn do simple math equations. 140, 140 only 140 calories. How many servings do you think you're gonna have? I'll just do the same. The same? You want me to do it for you or? That's pretty good. How many did I say? 15. <laughs> Also helping her remember things she just said 30 seconds ago. So now we're putting cucumber in it. Yum. Okay, now I'm gonna put my un. Why do I shorten words that are already short? Maybe laziness. <laughs> so just some red onion moments. So I'm add a little bit of that. Thank God for mints. Cause I don't want you to be kissing Noah onion breath over here. Wifey sounds completely over your bullshit, Amberlynn. A, a red onion and salads is like a must. Okay. I'm also going to measure my ranch a lot here. So 30 ml. What's that? So one serving might do it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a serving and a half. So... 15 more. Yes, so it's gonna come out to 45. Well, came out to 48, so that's okay. Pepperoncinis are next. So we have them cut up in like small little moments. Wait, this looks so good. Yes, I could have chose a healthier dressing. Yes, I could have skipped the croutons, but you know what? Moderation, folks. Moderation. Could I have some like grilled chicken? Sure. Do I feel like cooking right now? No. Look at it. Oh my God, that looks so bomb. Yeah, that's going to keep her satiated for like 10, 20 minutes tops. Let's take a bite together. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tastes healthy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna enjoy my croutons now. So, tonight for dinner, we're having like a taco salad type thing. So, I was gonna take you on this journey with me. Ooh, taco salad. Let's see how she messes this up. First things first, lettuce. So someone told me, why do you show food? Why do you talk about food all the time? Well, I am on a weight loss journey and I like to show people what I eat because people have also asked me to do that. So. And she already messed it up. Chip's going first. For the meat, when I did the calories, it's 170 calories for a fourth of it. So I'm going to 
take a fourth of it, which is about this little square, or square <laughs> triangle right here. Now I'm gonna add onion. Yuck. <laughs> Vicky hates onion. Disgusting. I'm going to add some shredded cheese. A serving of shredded cheese is one third of a cup. I like to use the Fiesta blend. One third of a cup is actually, in my humble opinion, quite a lot. It is hanging over a little bit. Let's, whatever. Don't be obsessed with your food. I'm sorry, is Amberlynn Reed telling us not to be obsessed with food? Okay, next thing I'm going to have is salsa. I already um, did all my calories for this. Stuff like salsa, lettuce, onion, I kind of just estimate with my eyes. Just for kicks and giggles, I'm at a little bit more onion. I love raw onion, so good. Then, I'm going to add some Tostitos. Ooh, this looks good, y'all. Look up close and personal. I guess you can call this a... Uh, a taco bowl not really a salad <laughs> but it looks good that looks like every taco salad I've ever eaten what exactly does she think a taco salad is okay you guys make lunch with me first things we need is flatbread or a wrap of your choice you are also going to need I gotta give it to her that fridge looks very well organized Cream cheese, some lunch meat of your choice. Mine is rotisserie seasoned chicken breast. You're gonna need some scallion and some ranch seasoning. Okay, so I wanna make it known that I actually saw my friend do this recipe on TikTok. I am switching it up a little bit, but I wanted to try it. Looks good. So I have this, I'm doing it in a clear cup so you guys can see it um, on my scale. So I could put a serving down of the cream cheese, which is 31 grams. Okay, so 31 grams. Amberlynn, if you ever watch this video, let me give you a little piece of advice. Instead of using the cream cheese, get you some Greek yogurt. It's going to have a much better texture. It's easier to stir. It's more healthy. It's going to be way better than that cream cheese. Trust me. Now I'm going to add some of this ranch seasoning. So now you're going to cut some scallion. So my friend put parsley. But in replace of parsley, I am putting an onion flavor because I personally love it. So I'm just chopping these pieces super, super small. I'm going to give you a little tip here, Amberlynn. Invest in a nice food processor. Those things dice and chop in like two seconds. Okay, so we're going to add that to this mixture. So you also have the option to cook some bacon and crumple it up in this mixture. But if we're being quite frank here, I forgot. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm gonna smear it. I hate that word, smear, so gross. Then just put your desired meat on the wrap, obviously. And then you're gonna roll it up, which I'm usually kind of bad at this, but we'll see. Hang on, Amberlynn, before you roll that thing up, let me give you one more piece of advice. Get you a green onion and slap that thing down in the middle of that wrap. It's gonna take that to a 10 out of 10, as you like to say. Wow, I did not do too bad. 
And now you're just gonna cut them into pinwheels. <laughs> I love me a pinwheel and I've never made, made one from scratch. You can do it in so many different ways. Um, I just wanted to try something easy to see what I thought. And then there you go. You have your cute little sandwiches. Aren't they so cute? Okay, so I'm gonna go eat this. Wait, you know what? We should do a taste test. Okay. Mm hmm. That's 10 out of 10. No, see, without that green onion, I'd give it a seven tops. Well, that's all we have for today. If you guys have any good tips, let me know down in the comments.